Hey, what you got there? This is just my lunch. Well, I'll play you for it. Okay. And one knee three pointer. Full court. From the bleachers to the door, off the wall, nothing but net. Game changer. Coach said, we run out. You know, like, for endurance during the game. So that's what I'm doing. But Hoops, the game is about to start, and there's no way you'll be able to play at your best. I don't think this is what Coach had in mind. Max, keep running. Please, just listen to me. You won't make it to the game if you don't stop now. Feel the burn. Thanks, dude. I should have respected what you were saying sooner and listen. Dude, no worries. It's important to listen to other people. If you didn't stop running, you would have been no help to the team during the game. Yeah, man, I would have been useless. You know, Hoops, when you listen, you're also showing some major respect. And a little respect goes a long way when you're part of a team. Here, check out what I mean. Jethro was Moses' father-in-law, and one day he went to visit him. Hey there, Moses. Nice place. Jethro loved Moses and was so excited to hear all about what God had done for Moses and the Israelites in Egypt. And then God brought manna when we were hungry and used clouds to show us which way to go. Jethro was so happy to hear about the great things God had done. Together, they celebrated and praised God. 
This calls for a party. <laughs> then after their celebration, Moses had to get back to work. Jethro watched as Moses was working, and boy was he busy. Moses helped people solve disagreements and showed them the right way to act. But this is all Moses did, all day long. But he took my donkey! No way! That was my donkey! All right, guys, let's figure this out. I loaned him money to buy food, but he never paid me back! What? That money was a gift! I owe you nothing! Hey, you two, break it up. Every minute of every day, Moses was fixing fights, and Jethro could tell that this was making Moses tired. Moses, you need to slow your roll. You're gonna get worn out if you keep this up. That's when Jethro came up with a great idea. Moses could find other people to help with the smaller arguments. That way, Moses could deal with the big stuff and wouldn't get so tired. Moses looked around at all these people needing his help and realized Jethro was right. Thanks, Jethro. I respect your advice. I'm going to hire a few more guys to take care of business. Because Moses respected Jethro and listened to his advice, things got way better. And get this, listening to Jethro didn't just help Moses, it helped his whole team. And that day, Moses realized that on God's team, players show respect. What's up, y'all? Slide away. Slide left, slide right. Work hard, work hard. Fist pump, fist pump. Wise up, come on. I'm gonna listen and do. Wise up, hey. Every day we choose to wise up, yeah. I'm gonna listen and do. Wise up, wise up, y'all. Lean in, in, in. To the back, to the front. Listen up, up, up. Uh, jump, jump. Don't let your friends bring you down. Get down, get down. Keep your heart turned up. Get up, get up. Wise up. Listen and do wise up. Come on, yo. Every day we choose to wise up. Hey, I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Come on. Every day we wise choose to wise up. Lean in, in, in. To the back, to the front. Listen up, listen. up, up. Jump, jump. Don't let uh. your friends bring you down. Get down, get down. Keep get your down. heart turned up. Get up, get up. Wise up. I'm gonna listen and do wise up. Yeah. Respect. There's a lot of do's and don'ts in the locker room. And by checking yourself before wrecking yourself, you can show respect to the dudes or the dudettes around you. Like, do make sure you take your socks home and get your mom to wash them. Wait, so like, I didn't have to wash these in the toilet? Here's another one. Don't just wear deodorant. Apply deodorant. On God's team, players show respect. Super. 
Today's play comes from a book in the Bible called Acts. Can you shout, Acts? Acts! In Acts, we see a team of people who loved God and wanted to learn more about Him. They shared all they had with each other. They ate together and prayed together. God was doing amazing miracles in and through His team. God's team helped everyone around Him. If someone needed food to eat, a place to live, or clothes to wear, God's team would help them right away. Every day, God's team hung out together. Their hearts were happy. They praised God by singing songs and telling Him how much they loved Him. The people on God's team were kind to all people. And every day, God added more and more people to His amazing team. <laughs> 